Hello. I see that you're interested in an anime review. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm trying back. <laughs> hey, Jay here. Happy Halloween, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And I uh, figured I had to do like at least some kind of a review on at least the first season of a really nice anime series and manga series. And everyone with their debate. Anime sucks, manga's great, and it's people who like both. So let's see, Rosario Vampire. I can't believe, 10 years old already though. 10 years old, dang. Oh, what a world, what a world, what a world, what a world. Um, anyway, boy. Uh, happy Halloween. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I figure this would be good because, you know, there's a witch character in this. To wear the hat, but I'm getting kind of tired of, you know, the J Avatar eye patch. So I think we're going to, sorry to disappoint anybody, but we're taking that off for now, okay? <laughs> Imagine that, like, cat girl witch. Uh, it's all done, you know, before. But anyway, Rosario Vampire, anime review, let's get to it. <laughs> Cue the intro. Dr. Taro Taku. J, 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 J. Ha, ha. J, 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 J. Story begins. Boy named Skune. He needs to go to school. And uh, he ends up going to a far away little school. Very far away. In a monster world. Uh, Yokai Academy. And, uh, he's not a monster. He's not a monster. School full of monsters. He's the only human there, and then he's got to keep it hush hush because, you know, bad things could happen if he is ousted. You know, outed? Ousted? There he meets cute, beautiful little uh, vampire girl. Yeah, vampire. That's a vampire part of the title. So, yeah, Skune meets Mocha. Ah, uh, Mocha. Mocha Akashia. Uh, she's cute, she's pretty. Good boobies, pink hair, really cute, pretty. Total wife, you can tell, you know, so that uh, it's real cute. She likes him. Uh, she likes the taste of his blood and all that stuff there. It's very sweet. Maybe it's because he's human! And she has, like, a little thing around her neck and the little cross between her breasts. I like the narration also. They're the cross between her, her breasts. <laughs> she has uh, the kind of personality things there because the thing, she has the, the cross between her neck. Only Skune has, like, the power or whatever to break it, or at least that's what it seems like every time he breaks it. Whenever it breaks off, she gets naked and gets the boobs, boing, 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 all that good stuff there. And then she transforms into, like, a different version of herself with white hair, kind of more <laughs> tough girl personality that will kick the crap out of you. So there's, like, two of those, and that keeps her locked at bay, and then Skune is the one that kind of keeps him in control and the balance between... The pure good one and the vampire version of Mocha. Really interesting stuff. Uh, so he meets her, makes a good friend there. So he makes his first little friend here in a place where he didn't think he was going to. And they have like a nice, good, like, nice little relationship. A good bond. Uh, very sweet. Very innocent. Very charming. And just very, like, friends type of stuff there. And of course, she's a girl and he gets all the situations. I mean, it is harem, romance, comedy, etchy, high school, school, fantasy, vampire, duh. Uh, Shonen. Shonen? Damn. See, I can say I like some Shonen then. <laughs> but this is a Shonen I approve of. So he has to keep it a secret because, like, bad things could happen if they find out he's a human. And, uh, luckily enough, they're like, you can't change into your monster form, you know, because that's, like, against the rules. So luckily he's like, phew, I don't have to show people, like, hey, well, yeah, well, I am a three-foot... 10 armed grizzly or beast or whatever, so he doesn't have to prove himself anything. Uh, so he makes a nice, sweet little bond with Mocha. Mocha. Skune. Anyway, uh, really sweet. Uh, he meets other characters, uh, really great characters. We have, uh, Kudamu, uh, she's a succubus. Uh, cute little Yukari, uh, she's a little witch lolly cutie pie. Mizue, uh, she is a snow girl, very cold exterior type of attitude or shopping on whole shiny pop really good and i like the sleeves and everything there like they're all you know cute hot sexy total you know like and then i mean geez kurumu i mean boingy boingy i mean damn 
Uh, Kudamu, she, I mean, she's got the nice, good knockers. She's very cute, very hot. And then the nice, sweet little bond between Mocha and Skune, and kind of the jealousy that, you know, you can tell she likes them and all that kind of stuff, but doesn't want to admit it type of stuff. And then all the other ones are like, fine for me. She's like, no, he's mine, you know, like, but she doesn't act that way. You know what I'm saying? It's very cute, and it's really... I, I, I just like that stuff. It's really nice. I mean, this series is really... If you know what I'm talking about, Agent Ica. Uh, this is kind of like making me think, because there's Pansu shots. Like, Agent Ica, Ikitosin, Pansu shots up the wazoo. But yeah, uh, wow, so much, like, puss, bulge, crotch, ass shots and everything, and pants, you're like, every chance you get, like, gotta love the camera angles, it's always like, they're talking or whatever, the camera's like, my cinematic, you know, quality of camera angles, genius. A lot of good characters, uh, later on we meet, like, another character, another witch, her name is Ruby, she's cute, not much about her too much in the first season, and this is what I'm reviewing, that's why the review's so short. Yeah, you know, I love her cute little teacher, uh, Nekonome, uh, she is, like, the clothes eyes, no, the ears, and she's always like, oh no, my tail, I can't believe I exposed my tail. So cute and so hot, and then Jiggly. Uh, I like, uh, the really, really hot teacher, Ririko Kagome, uh, glasses, the mole, tits out to here, wearing that, you know, that nice teacher tight secretary outfit with the skirt and the... Leggings and the heels, and the, oh dear god, really hot and seductive looking, uh, because she's a Lamia, and uh, so that's what she has to do. She's not like a bad monster, but she's just really passionate about like learning and all that stuff there, but she uses her, yeah, and her S&M style, damn, she was hot. Uh, a lot of good, uh, cool, like every episode there's a new villain, either it's a student or a teacher or something like that, like I just said. Uh, so a lot of them are like sexy women or some like really creepy looking or funny looking guys. The baddies were really cool. There's a uh, spider girl. I thought that was really interesting. When she goes into spider form, it's like the legs of the spider come up from her stomach, chest area. And then you get to see like the breasts exposed under boobs. So it's kind of a neat, kind of sexy look. Big giant under boobs, naked under boobs, and then the spider legs. Really cool. Then there's like these pervy clothes that like each of the main three girls that are attached. Uh, the little romantic attachments of partners if you will, for, uh, you know, Skune. And uh, there's a perfect club, and they have, like, these goofy, silly-looking monsters in their true form. And that's pretty much it in the first season, you know, him just with the etchy fancers, booze in your face, crotch shots, silly moments, mild nudity, good nipples, nudity, and all that stuff there. Uncensored, you know, they had the bats and stuff covering everything. Enjoying that type of stuff there with him trying to, you know, while his harem's grown with these other girls that like him, and he's trying not to get a secret out. Typical class stuff there, really good, and then they're joining a paper, trying to go through that, and then there's this society that tries to stop them, and then the ending is, of the season is basically that society trying to out him as being human, and that's really, like, the last two episodes of the first season, I thought were, like, kind of, like, really intriguing, really powerful, some deep stuff there towards the end, because you're like, oh my gosh, could he really, like, could he really die, get, you know, whatever they're gonna do to him, because they try to out him as this, and spoilers, you know, skip this little second, you know, he's outed, and then what happens? Oh my gosh, very intense towards the end. I don't know, it, it was funny, it was cute and sweet, you know, charming, the romantic love story aspects of it, the friendship aspects of the girls, really sticking up for Skune and him sticking up for them. Good to show, like, you know, the man sticking up for these girls and the girls sticking up for the man. It was real nice to see that stuff there. Nice little story, surprisingly nice. I've really liked it the first season so far. And I just love the whole, you know, monsters. They just have me just monster girls, which are, like, it's like the greatest thing ever. But I just love the lore. I just love monsters and horror. So this is, you know, <laughs> and I just love the mythology, the lore of it all. And, like, all the different cultures throughout, like, everyone's culture is a different type of monsters and demons and, you know, their lore mythology and all the unique monsters and creatures they have. It's very interesting. I love how anime in Japan and their culture has a lot of cool stuff that they touch on and show a lot. Again, so much good etchy, so much good boobs, ass, jiggles, all the good stuff. I mean, a lot of good stuff there. And then you, you like all the characters, you feel for them all. I feel for them all, I love them all. They're all good girls, all cute, sexy, pretty, good girls. Roof for them all. Poor Rias, her, her wing fell off. But anyway, <laughs> I love how the battles are recorded, counted by the seconds. The little bad guy tells us this was done in 117 seconds. Very interesting and quirky and unique. I love that. The opening and ending sound really good, and the good animation that flows through is very beautiful. The animation, you know, is pretty, pretty decent, pretty good, cute. The character designs are amazing. 
attractive. You know, I really like the character designs. Really good. I, I, this kind of character designs and style, the anime style that I really like. The score is great. It has beautiful moments, surreal moments. You know, sometimes a beat keep you pumped. Very tranquil, serene, just all that really like, you know, the mood changes, you know, get that kind of the like horror scariness aspect, an old and old time horror sound to it, but also good sound, creepy. Like the title intro music is so epic, and then the dark dun, during the break is like, ooh, spooky good stuff. So I really like it. All the characters, the sexiness, goods, you know, the plot, the plot. It's got something for everyone, succubus, vampires, lollies, witches, monster girls, neko teachers, kinky teachers, good characters, some nice development. All in the first season, not too bad. A lot of good characters, they go through a lot of stuff, a lot of, most of fun towards the end, you can see like them getting affected and hurt through the aspects of how monsters and people are treated. And then it's interesting how the school is like, we want to do this to show like, even though monsters and humans are enemies, we want to kind of bring them together. And then yet when he's outed as being human, it turns around and it's like, we don't care. We want to get kill the human and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, but I thought we were supposed to. And then, again, the whole interesting about how people are and how we view things and others that are different and trying to get along and stuff like that. Really nicely touched, I thought. Again, I love the characters. They're funny. They're cute. They're charming. Mizure, Yukari, Kurumu, Mocha, Ruby, all of them, Skune. Good characters. They're all good waifus. Funny show. Charming. Sweet. Good story, enjoyable, and I look forward to talking about the second season and then possibly the manga. Uh, I think it's worth checking out, and I figured fitting for Halloween, you know, monsters, witches, vampires, sexy anime girls, waifu, fancers, boobies, all that good stuff, pantsu shots. It's what Halloween's all about, people. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to turn myself into a bat, even though I'm a witch, and then fly on out of here, everyone! Uh, give it a try. Rosario Vampire, Rosario to Vampire, Rosario 2 Vampire, Rosario Plus Vampire, however people say it, want to say it. Good anime and manga. Give it a shot. Why not, if you like this kind of stuff. Try something different. And I still can't believe 10 years already. Wow. Keep it fapping. <laughs> try to make a kind of halloween -y over here. It's Pikachu. There we go. Creepachu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Skune. Mocha. Skune. Mocha. Skune. Mocha. I love that stuff. <laughs> every time they do it, I love it. Same way where she always has her transformation every episode.